Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to be reviewing the Magnetic Eyeliner by Lash Liner. Before we get started, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel because I come out with videos every week. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, to be honest, I've already filmed an entire first impressions video using this and I had such high expectations because it worked so well for Tati Westbrook because um, I had seen her video. And so I had such high expectations thinking this was gonna work so well but there were several problems. First of all, the formula was so goopy and thick and awful, and the brush that comes with this, let me, this is like the actual tube. It's this super long, oh man, this is like, do you see how like long that is? I don't know, let me zoom in. So do you see how long that is? And it's like super flimsy too. It smells awful by the way, like poison. Not a fan of that, but yeah, the, this applicator, no, awful. So I like figured that out really quickly, and so I switched to using an eyeliner brush, which was going better. This is the brush, I'm gonna use it again today. But the mistake I had made is like, usually when I put on fake eyelashes, I already have mascara on, so that's what I did last time. And so my eyelashes were curled and in the way. So as I was trying to put it on, it was getting all over my eyelashes and like clumping them together. And then when I would try to put on the magnetic lashes, they were like sticking to my actual eyelashes and not the lash line. So that was a whole disaster. So this time I don't have mascara on yet. The other good thing that I figured out was I was planning on just using the top part of these. Like the whole idea of these was you just stick them together but that sucks and does not work. Um, and so in the, the first video I had filmed, I had just put the top ones on and I one of them worked pretty well and the other I could not get the inner corner on right because it kept sticking to my eyelashes instead of the line that I had done. Um, but when I put on the bottom ones too, just for fun, the bottoms just like went whoop, like perfectly on there. So I have promised this time that it will work because I'm gonna do a better job with the eyeliner and make sure it doesn't get on my lashes. Whew, I'm like out of breath because I'm so pumped for this video and I'm so determined to have it work this time. So let's hope, I think, I think I've, I think I know what to do to get it to work. All right, so let me, let me zoom in and let's go. <laughs> okay, so first things first, don't use the eyeliner as your actual eyeliner. Go in with a different one first. So I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay 24-7. Man, this thing's getting so mini. 24-7 <laughs> Glide on Eye Pencil in Perversion. And I'm just gonna quickly give my eyes a little liner. Okay, so I went ahead and just did a quick, simple eyeliner, nothing fancy. Um, so now I'm gonna take the tube here and my eyeliner brush. Oh, it is like so sticky that like even pulling it out is like kind of difficult. Oh man, this better work this time. So I'm globbing it on there carefully. And I'm gonna try to not get it on my eyelashes at all. Okay, so far, so good. Man, it's so sticky and gloppy, it's unbelievable. Okay, I think I did it. I think I got it. I think the directions say to do um, two layers, if I remember right. Okay, that side actually went on pretty well this time. So far, so good. It might actually work. <laughs> so I got it on there. Gosh, this isn't the best eyeliner job I've ever done, but I'm just like too excited. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so the eyeliner is on there. That went so much smoother than the first time. So biggest tip, do not use the actual applicator that comes in the tube and do not have mascara on first. Um, so let me wait for this to dry. Hopefully, shoot, did I think this through? Because now I'm gonna have to curl my eyelashes and this is magnetic, so what if this, well this is metal, so it's gonna obviously stick to this. I'm worried that now the eyeliner is gonna peel off. Oh, so many struggles. Let me wait for this to dry and then we'll curl the eyelashes. I 
I see it like coming off onto my eyelash curler. <laughs> like little bits. Shoot. Okay, I definitely had some come off because I can see it on my eyelash curler. I don't know if you can. It reflects too much. But I think there's still enough on there that this could work. So let me go ahead and just crack this open. And let's see how this goes. I feel, I feel good. I feel really hopeful right now. But we'll see. We'll see if that stays. Okay, so I have the top lash. Let's see what happens here. So that was really easy. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, I forgot to put mascara on. Okay, hold on, undo. Gosh, I'm so stupid. Okay, real quick. Just, at least we know it worked. Like it 100% just like flopped right along the line perfectly. Okay. Ah. Oh. <laughs> no. You know what I think the problem is is more with these lashes because they just don't have a bend in them. They're just like straight. They don't have like the curve you need. Gosh, I can't get them apart. They're stuck together now. Okay, let's try again. Maybe for the last time. I want this eyelash to have a bend in it and not just be straight. Because like, you know how you normally like will wiggle them around? That doesn't work because of these like magnets. Oops. Okay, this seems a little more promising this time. Let me wiggle it more. Okay, that kind of worked. It's still not great though. It's now it's like this outer corner that is not really sticking that great. So for this other side, let me like pile on even a little bit more. Okay, let's try the other side. It definitely helped when I wiggled it around a bit. Okay, that went on well and easily. Now, let's wiggle the bottom part. This one is not like snapping on. Oh wait, this is the top. I have the bottom on that. That's why, or wait, what? Oh my gosh. I have two tops in my hand, which means Gosh, dang it, right when I thought I had it. Or do they all look the same? I can't freaking tell. <sighs> when do I give up? I've been doing this for like 15 minutes. At this point, it's like, just put the stupid glue on real ones because, ugh. They're not helpful. <laughs> okay, I got them on and they don't look that great to me. <laughs> The issue is that they like, they're, I don't know if you can see this. Oh, don't look at my nose. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this, but like the corner is where it's attached is like not on my eyeliner, uh, not on my eye line at all for both the inner corner and the outer corner. I don't think it would be super obvious in person seeing someone that like the, actually I think it would be the second I look sideways, it's kind of obvious like on both of these that 
it's not really attached. Um, my other problem with this is that because a regular band you can like wiggle back and forth to be like a nice rounded shape these like just want to be f straight and flat rather than like nice and curved to your eye um, but they don't look awful I got them on eventually it took way too long it would have been much easier to just use glue but the one benefit to this is that you can literally just like pull them off and on but ugh, this is like the second time I've tried to do this I've already done a whole video the first time that was a disaster and it's just not easier at all and it does not look as good as just regular eyelashes with glue so okay so my final verdict is that this was just way too difficult this took me so long to do to not even have them like on there perfectly and they just don't look as good as regular eyelashes um secondly the actual eyeliner is just way too goopy not a fan of that there's just like way too many little things you have to like try to do to get them on to be perfect and then they're just not even perfect that it's just not worth it plus they are so uncomfortable not like super uncomfortable actually it's just like you feel them because it's like pinched around your eyelashes so I'm not a fan of that either so I'm gonna have to go ahead and say that I don't like this at all <laughs> I and I've given it a fair chance like this is my second time like really going at it and I had like all of these steps prepared to try and make this work and it did help like that just, this just shows you how bad the first time went through because this time was also a disaster but the first time was like a mega disaster um this time I actually got them on the first time that didn't really happen so yeah not a big fan but it was still fun to try if you want to give it a go might as well it wasn't that much money or was it I don't remember actually maybe it kind of was a lot of money e. okay yeah it was $60 for a two pack which means that the one tube was $30 so no no <laughs> Don't recommend save your money if you really want to try magnetic lashes honestly i i can't recommend anything because i've tried this on its own like using this little tool you're supposed to like place them in there and then just be like whoop but no that doesn't work either so honestly the whole idea of magnetic lashes sounds great just like snap them on and super easy tear them off no problem but they have not figured it out yet it doesn't work um Maybe if I literally kept practicing and practicing, I could get it down, but, like, I have no problem putting regular lashes on, so I don't really think it's that much of a user error. Maybe it is. I don't know. In my opinion, it's way too difficult, and if you're not someone who's, like, used to putting on eyelashes, this would be extremely difficult for you. So, I don't recommend it. I think it costs too much money, and it kind of just isn't good. <laughs> Sorry this video <laughs> did not turn out so great. I had high hopes that it was going to work, but... It did not at all so that is the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel because I come out with videos every week and also comment down below what you thought of this video and what you would like to see from me in the future thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you next time bye